Hey everyone, this is Juan from CanHub and in this tutorial we're going to look at some of the most common staining techniques we use in histology. As you probably know, histology is the study of the microscopic anatomy of cells and tissues. So we use staining methods to visualize and distinguish the different parts of cells and tissues since cells and their structures are usually transparent or colorless. The types of dyes used to color cells and their components can either be specific to particular structures, chemical groups, or even molecules. And they can also be non-specific, in which case most of the cell is stained in the same way. In this tutorial we will cover some of the most common types of dyes used in histological staining of cells and their structures. Before we look at some examples of histological dyes, I want to give you a brief overview of the types of dyes that are used. When staining tissue samples, dyes that are used are either acidic or basic, or a combination of the two. And why is that, you might be asking? Well, cellular structures such as nucleic acids or proteins have charged groups, which are known as phosphate groups or carboxyl groups, just to name a couple. The dyes used in histology are colored organic compounds, which also have a charge. Acidic dyes carry a negative charge, and so they bind to positively charged cell structures. To give you a better idea of this, let's look at this quick visual. Here we see the negatively charged dye binding to the positively charged cytoplasmic proteins. This makes them appear colored, in this case pink. Basic dyes, on the other hand, carry positive charges and as such will bind to negatively charged cell structures. Here we see the positively charged dye binding to the negatively charged cell membrane. This makes the structure appear blue in this example. Note that the neutral dyes can also be used and these don't carry any charge. I won't go into detail about the different types of basic or acidic or neutral dyes. This is just to give you a bit of a background into why these dyes bind to particular cellular structures. Now let's move on to look at a few brief examples of histological dyes that are used to visualize cellular structures. Note that in this tutorial we will look at a few of the most common dyes used in the histology, namely hematoxylin and eosine, periodic acid shift reaction, silver impregnation, toluidine blue, Masson's trichome, and osmium tetroxide. The first type of staining that we will look at is hematoxylin and eosine stain. This type of dye is often simply referred to as H&E stain. Here we see a micrograph showing skeletal muscle stain using this technique in order to visualize the tissue under a light microscope. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.